Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on adding variables using SPSS. Oftentimes in counseling research and for a variety of reasons, we want to add variables together. And SPSS allows us a few different ways to do that. So looking at these fictitious data I have in the data view, I have an ID variable, a program variable, which is an independent variable at three levels, individual, group, and treatment as usual. And then I have four dependent variables, right? So these are four measurements. And we're going to presume these are all T-scores. A T-score has a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So we have functioning, anxiety, depression, and substance use. So as we're looking to add variables together, or create a composite variable from any method, it's important to consider the direction of each of the measurements. Meaning on these three measurements, anxiety, depression, and substance use, a higher score is associated with more severe symptoms. However, on the functioning dependent variable, a higher score would indicate increased functioning, which would typically be associated with less severe symptoms. So let's presume that these data represent data that might be gathered in a substance use disorder treatment facility. And because these three dependent variables measure symptoms in the same way, meaning the higher scores represent more severity, increased severity, we can add these together. And then for any one particular individual, we can get an idea of how they're doing across all three dimensions and then compare them to one another. So to do this, we would go to transform compute variable and we'll just call the target variable sum. And I'll show you the first way here. The first way is just take each of the variables of interest. In this case, we're starting with anxiety double click and just uh, use this plus sign in the top left corner. Then depression, double click, plus substance use. So that becomes a numeric expression, fairly straightforward. And click OK. And you can see here's the sum of anxiety, depression, and substance use. You'll notice there's two places to the right of the decimal that are displayed. However, in these three dependent variables, you can see there's no digits to the right of the decimal displayed in the data view. But up here, for example, where you see 54, up here where it says substance use, you can see that's the actual value. So that's rounded up. A second method for creating a variable that adds other variables together would be to go into compute variable. I'm just going to uh, reset this. And we'll just call this sum2. And we can move over to statistical. In the function group, you see there's all these groups. We want statistical. And there's one named sum. So we'll double click that. And then we can move over anxiety and depression. And you can see there's only two question marks inside uh, the argument section there for that function. But we can add another comma and move over substance use. It'll accept as many arguments as you need, as many variables. But the variables do have to be numeric. So we'll click OK here. And we can see under sum2, we have the same values as with sum1, just a different method using the sum function as opposed to just adding them up. When trying to create a composite variable like this, uh, which is often what we're doing when we're adding together variables, there's a few other metrics you may be interested in. One would be going to compute variable, would be the mean. Right? I'll just call this variable mean. 
and kind of delete this expression. And you can see under the same statistical function group, we have mean. And for this, again, we just load in the variables in the same way we did for the sum. So I'll add the comma and then throw in substance use. And this will give us the mean for every participant. And similarly, we could calculate the median. And I'll show you a shortcut for this. We go to transform. And I'm going to just change this to median, the target variable. But instead of going in here and clearing this and then double clicking on median, which is down here, uh, I'm just going to change this to median and it'll work the same way. And you can see we have the mean and now the median. So we have two ways here to determine the sum. And then we also have the mean, the median. Now we only have three variables that we're testing here. So the median may not be of particular value. Uh, it's just gonna be the value in the middle of these three. But if you're working with 10, 20, 30 variables, uh, the median might be more valuable to display. But certainly the mean uh, would be useful, and of course the sum would typically be useful in the situation. I hope you found this video in adding variables together using SPSS. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.